although Tummy Beats primarily focuses on extracting gold from the ground to make money on Gold Rush, he constantly devises alternative strategies to maximize his profits. One valuable asset in possession of Beats and his family crew is the Jasmine Bee, a power barge acquired by Tummy Beats for his Viking fleet. The Jasmine Bee is a massive vessel, weighing 60,000 pounds and spanning 60 feet, with a 15,000-pound bow. It has remained dormant for three decades as of Season 7 and was named after the Beats family's middle daughter. This vessel serves as a versatile means of transporting materials and items via waterways, essentially functioning as a ferry boat. In Season 12, a significant event unfolded concerning the Jasmine Bee, an offer of $1 million was made by someone interested in purchasing it. The catch was that they couldn't afford to damage the boat during the transfer. Their first challenge was to relocate it without a single scratch, which proved no easy feat, especially considering the boat wasn't even in the water. This incredible endeavor is best witnessed firsthand, as a team of dedicated loaders spared no effort in accomplishing the task. Initially, they successfully lowered the old boat into the water, a process that, surprisingly, didn't consume much time. Next, they had to remove the skids supporting the boat, ensuring it didn't rest in the water and on the bank simultaneously. However, the silty ground presented a challenge, as it firmly anchored the giant skid. This led to the machines driven by Mike Beats, and the crew almost lifting off the ground while struggling to pull the massive vessel free. Gold Rush is changing its focus, stepping away from the gold drama for the Beats crew, at least temporarily. This is a significant development, as stumbling upon a million dollars isn't an everyday occurrence. Tummy Beats invested in the boat for the purpose of relocating his dredge, successfully achieving his goal. Now, however, it's just a burden, but it might come in handy if the gold mining season falls short, helping to cover expenses and putting the Beats crew in a favorable position. Having an extra seven figures can't possibly hurt, can it? Initially, it appeared that the sale of the boat would proceed smoothly, with Tony and his crew working tirelessly to return it to the water. However, a single call from Minnie caused the deal to unravel. The prospective buyers withdrew, leaving Tummy Beats disappointed. In this year's season, Tummy Beats has set his sights on surpassing his record-breaking 5,300-ounce gold haul, which was valued at $9 million. His new objective is to reach the 6,000 ounces, and things are looking promising as he gains access to his cherished claims along the Indian River. When recalling the story of the Jasmine Bee, Gold Rush enthusiasts are likely to reminisce about Tony's dredge. Dredges are not commonly used in modern gold mining practices, but Beats remained convinced that he could make it work. Over the course of six months, Beats and his team painstakingly relocated the 350-ton machine to a new claim to continue their quest for gold. They meticulously disassembled the colossal machine and rebuilt it beam by beam and bolt by bolt. Everybody thought I was crazy, that it couldn't be done, Beats remarked in a previous episode. Well, there it is. Once operational, the dredge could process an astounding 2,000 gallons of water per minute. This massive piece of machinery essentially combined the capabilities of a dozer, an excavator, a rock truck, and a loader. The dredge faced two unfortunate sinkings within six weeks on Gold Rush, including one due to human error. Fortunately, Beat's skilled team managed to recover it and get it back up and running. With the rights to exploit the Indian River, Jasmine B is undoubtedly set to remain a formidable ally for Tony Beats in Season 14. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the heart of the Yukon wilderness, where the air is crisp and the ground echoes with the tales of gold, Tommy Beats, the legendary Dutch-Canadian gold miner, found himself at a crossroads. Jasmine, his pride and joy, 
stood tall and proud, a testament to years of hard work and dedication. Yet, as he gazed upon her weathered hull and rusted machinery, he couldn't shake the nagging feeling that perhaps it was time to part ways. It had been a challenging season for Tony and his crew. Despite their best efforts, the gold seemed to elude them at every turn, leaving them with little to show for their tireless labor. With each passing day, the weight of responsibility bore down on Tony's shoulders, his mind consumed by thoughts of bills to pay and mouths to feed. Then, one fateful morning, as Tony sat in his makeshift office, poring over maps and calculations, a knock echoed through the cabin, interrupting his train of thought. With a grunt, he rose from his chair and swung the door open, only to come face to face with a stranger, a man whose sharp suit and polished demeanor stood in stark contrast to the rugged surroundings. I've had an offer for you, Tony, the man began, his voice smooth and calculated. A million dollars for Jasmine B., cash on the table, no questions asked. Tony's brow furrowed as he regarded the man with a mixture of suspicion and intrigue. A million dollars was no small sum, especially for a vessel that had seen better days. Yet, as he weighed the offer in his mind, he couldn't shake the feeling that selling the Jasmine B would be akin to selling a piece of his soul. For years, Jasmine B had been Tony's constant companion, a steadfast presence in a world defined by uncertainty. Together, they had weathered countless storms and overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles, forging a bond that ran deeper than mere metal and machinery. And yet, as Tony surveyed the aging vessel before him, he couldn't deny the toll that time had taken. The once mighty steamship now bore the scars of countless battles, her hull worn and weathered, her engines struggling to keep pace with the demands of the modern world. With a heavy heart, Tony turned back to the stranger, his mind made up. I appreciate the offer, he began, his voice steady despite the turmoil raging within, but the Jasmine B is not for sale. She's been with me through thick and thin, and I intend to see her through to the end. As the stranger's expression darkened, Tony felt a pang of regret tug at his heartstrings. A million dollars could buy him temporary relief from his financial woes but it could never replace the sense of pride and purpose that Jasmine B. had given him over the years. And so, as the stranger turned and made his way back down the gangplank, Tony couldn't help but feel a sense of peace wash over him. For in that moment, he realized that some things were simply priceless. No amount of money could ever buy the memories, the camaraderie, and the sheer joy of a life lived in pursuit of one's dreams. As the sun set over the Yukon wilderness, casting a golden hue across the landscape, Tony Beats stood on the deck of the Jasmine Bee, a smile playing at the corners of his lips. Though the future remained uncertain, one thing was clear, as long as he had Jasmine Bee by his side, he would always find a way to keep moving forward, one golden step at a time.